name is Sarah. I've been teaching public school for five years, and currently I teach sixth grade language arts. My classroom is really moving um, from teacher-centered to student-centered. You know, I'm, I don't want to stand up there anymore and just, you know, tell them what's, what they need to learn. They need to learn it themselves by getting involved and really getting their hands On the curriculum page, you can easily create, manage, and customize course content and activities. Access the page from the main menu in the upper left corner of the menu bar. Here, you will be prompted to choose the course you want to work in. On the left side of the curriculum page, you see your course folder structure. The folders, subfolders, content, and activities you create are displayed here and you can edit them at any time. Click the folder icons to see the items within them. Use the up and down arrows to move a selected item up or down in order. You can work with every folder and activity in this list by selecting it and choosing one of the icons that appear. Folders allow you to copy, edit, add, and delete. Activities allow you to copy, edit, preview, and delete. When you copy an item, a paste icon becomes available in all folders. This allows you to copy and paste between folders. The paste icon will always duplicate the last item copied. Edit opens a window in which you can change an item's title, visibility and completion settings, associated competencies, metadata, and placement and navigation. You have two add options within any folder that you can use at any time to adapt the course to your students' needs. Add New lets you create a new folder or activity. Search Library directs you to predetermined digital libraries from which you can import content. Click Preview to test an activity and any edits you make right on the curriculum page. You can delete any folder or activity at any time. On the right side of the page, you see a panel used to further manage the item selected on the left. The available management fields differ depending on whether you have selected the course, a folder, or an activity. The folder panel includes all available fields, so we will look at a folder for this example. Here, you can change the item name, assign a thumbnail image, write a big picture summary outlining how this item fits within the course design and the expected outcome. Record essential questions, vocabulary, resources, and an item description that promotes understanding. Assign student choice settings for items that allow students to make activity participation choices. Align the item with the course standards it addresses. Specify badges that students can earn upon completing the item. And add course links to items for students to use. Agilix Buzz.